How's it going? Well, I'm out here once again doing some gear testing, and I got a whole lot of gear to test. So today I actually have my my Osprey uh, Hornet 46. It's my lightweight backpack that I used uh, last year, the Appalachian Trail. Uh, it's a great backpack. Like I said, I got a lot of gear in here, so need the extra room. My normal uh, lightweight backpack, which is the uh, EMS Packable Day Pack, had to leave that home because I couldn't fit it all in here. So I found some gear that, like I said, I haven't seen reviews on, and I find it to be excellent gear. This pack being one of them. Another reason why I'm out today is because I did a video about a month ago about my hammock setup, and I forgot something. That's being uh, bug protection. Now, I wasn't really thinking about bugs because it's about 35 degrees out. Yes, it was the first day of spring, but this is New England, so it actually ended up snowing later on that day. Bug net that Eno provides, it's a bit heavy. I think it's around a pound. I don't know exactly. I'll look it up and I'll put it, you know, down here at the bottom. My hammock setup is definitely not the lightest, so I wanted to save as much weight as I can, and the bug net was something that I could save weight on. So for my bug netting, I went out and purchased some Noceum netting from Equinox. I ended up getting like two packages for about eight bucks a piece, and I sewed them together in custom shape for my hammock. You got your strap, and I got this little hole back here, and I put the strap through the hole. And then, once you got the other end of the strap, you just pull it through. And same as before, you got your two descending rings, and you're going to go through both descending rings, and then back through one of them. And then tension your hammock. Okay. Once you have it tensioned, you go back through both descending rings and tie it off with just like a, a simple hitch so it doesn't move on you. Now on the other end of the bug net I have a little hole and I take my ridge line and go through that hole and then attach it to the rope at the end of the hammock. And what I do at the end here is I tie a taut line hitch so I can adjust the, the ridge line of the hammock. So this is how it looks when it's all set up. Now you notice only half of the hammock is covered. I did that basically to save weight because most of the time my feet are in a sleeping bag and I don't need that bug protection. Now I just have a small hole on the side and when you pull it down it goes right around the hammock so no bugs can get in there. And then there's a small hole here for the ridge line. So when you go to get in the hammock make sure you push the bug net all the way up to the head side and then get in the way you normally would. Just lift your head and put it underneath and then slide the bug net down. Now once you're in, I've got a little bit of material left over, just kind of like a little flap. You tuck that, you tuck that down and bring your arms inside. And like I said, your feet are going to be in the in a sleeping bag, so your lower half is going to be protected. Once you're inside the bug net, there's probably about 18 inches in front of my face, so you don't get too uh, claustrophobic. Another thing I do when I'm hammock camping is I'll hang my headlamp from the ridge line there on the inside of the bug net so that way it's readily available you know in the nighttime if you need to get up. Well there you have it. There's my do-it-yourself bug net for my Eno hammock. 